Remember the Mark II teaser video where we revealed the door tempo slowdown trick? Well, in the latest update to Mark II, it is now possible to do this without changing your sequencer's host tempo. Instead, you make tempo changes within the instrument itself via percentages or selecting a fraction. This way, you run your track at the original tempo and then spin in those luscious slowed down rhythms and accompaniments to add an ethereal film noir quality to your composition. What's more, when using Mark II in dual rhythm and accompaniment mode, you can set different fractional or percentage values for both left and right manuals. And this means you can create interesting polyrhythms with say one manual playing back at 25% while the other plays back at 33%. Here's a moving strings accompaniment in dual manual mode and with parallel triggering active so that if we play a note on one manual the corresponding note will play on the other manual. And without host tempo active, we hear this at its normal tempo of 120 BPM. To take advantage of this new feature, click the host sync button and note that we're running our door at 100 BPM. Then go to MIDI CC mode. And here you'll see a new addition to our list of functions, namely the ability to select the tempo scale as either a percentage or a fraction. In this case, we're going to use a fraction and then head back to the main panel and to this window. In here, we're going to initially determine whether we want a global tempo value, i.e. one for both manuals or one for each manual before deciding on the tempo fraction. I've opted to have a different tempo fraction for each manual starting with a quarter on this left manual and a third on the right. We have the left manual panned left and the right manual panned right, so you can clearly hear the different tempo values. I'm also going to add copious amounts of reverb and delay, and also filter out some of the high frequencies to make it sound super dreamy and then replay the same moving strings accompaniment. The left at a quarter speed and the right at a third. Finally, let's detune one manual by a full octave. Let's try the right. glorious, eh? And our host tempo hasn't changed at all. Now obviously we can apply this to any rhythm or accompaniment. For example, 
Here's a Chamberlain harp arpeggio with the same treatment. Finally, let's play this within the context of a track, where you can hear a drum pattern playing at 100 BPM, as well as an OBE bass line and a mini monster lead. <laughs> 